This uh, kind of revolution in deep nets has been very profound and definitely surprised me, even though I was like right in there sitting, like I could throw, you know, paper clips at him. Um, it's an incredible time. And, uh, and it's very hard to forecast, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what can these things do? Uh, we don't really know the limits. And in a hundred years, if we imagine ourselves, uh, you know, that these can do kind of everything we can imagine and more, um, uh, it's, um, it's a hard thing to think through and has really incredible possibilities. Uh, but it's, I think it's impossible to forecast accurately. But Sergey, would you, would you see more the positive side? Of course, as an entrepreneur, you have to see the positive side, but do you see also possible risks in all those um, f uh, fancy, if I may use this word, uh, word a new uh, means which we will have at our disposal? I think it definitely requires some thought uh, and um, and incredibly, and I'm here at, at Davos, and I'm just shocked at how I feel like the Luddite in the room. You know, everybody's talking about, well, how do we cope with this increased automation here and the jobs displaced and so forth? And, um, and you know, I feel like the one like, oh, you know, actually that's pretty hard to do with a computer, and I kind of know what we're trying to accomplish to make that technology work. And uh, I think a lot of folks here are... I think correctly forward thinking, taking some of those innovations uh, for granted and then saying, well, what does that mean for society and so forth? Uh, I think that's the right thing to do. Um, I think thinking through um, sort of AI is the continuing of the automation that we've seen in the past 200 years uh, and how that evolves society and economy and social order. Uh, is that's the smart thing to do. I don't think it's sort of impossible somehow, yeah. but it deserves a lot of thought.